Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles and what I think of the game. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So, honestly dude, I'm going to keep it 100% with you, right? This game is honestly extremely solid. It's a very good fighter that's honestly, it feels like it's super easy to pick up. But there is a learning curve to certain characters, like for example, Shinobu. Shinobu is just not a character you can generally just pick up and start using and beating ass with. You have to learn her combos, you have to learn her like techniques, you have to learn how to like to carefully play with her because Shinobu is pretty frail, but also can do a decent amount of damage in the right hand. So gameplay wise, this game definitely is really cool. It has a learning curve, but it's not incredibly steep. Engine wise, I honestly do think that this game feels better than any storm game personally um like cc2 honestly just took the storm engine and just made it better like you know what i mean like it feels super 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 smooth to play on it's fun to play but yeah no cc2 definitely like they did a good job with it and i'm very happy to say that the game feels amazing now in terms of overall graphics i do think this game could have been a little bit better but the game is extremely pretty it really is it's super pretty super nice especially when you have like the right display going on with like 4k monitors and blah 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 all this stuff it's very nice the weird thing about this game graphically is that the game is locked in like 30 frames you can't increase the frame rate which is weird to say because there are next gen versions of this game completely out and if you don't know anything about next gen versions of games they usually come you know supported with 60 frames 4k um resolution and things of that nature for xbox series x and ps5 so for the game to be locked in like 30 frames is extremely weird i have no clue why cc2 just decided to do this maybe it's just easier to you know make a whole game in 30 frames i i personally don't know but that's just an incredibly weird thing about the game that i personally just was like why though you know what i mean um characters let's move on to characters i'm happy to say that they're most of the characters in this game are pretty viable there are two characters that i think are absolutely 100 percent broken that i need a nerf right now and those are hinakami tanjo which is actually like broken i'll get into him in a second and ren goku so Hinakami Tanjiro, right? There's a glitch going around if Hinakami Tanjiro like lands an ult, there's like a chance he can freeze your game and like break it, which is 100% a weird ass thing. Honestly, CZ2 probably knows about this by now and it's probably gonna patch it. But the, the, the glitch is very rare, like it barely happens, but I've seen like footage of it happening it's just like it doesn't it doesn't really happen for like the average player it has to be like a two percent chance or something but yeah that's just a weird glitch and hinakami tanjiro just has a lot of you know moves that can generally break shield extremely easy so honestly just nerf nerf him into the ground please i'm joking not really though um ren goku ren ren goku listen ren goku players okay i want y'all to listen to me you're not good at the game. You're not good. I'm sorry. Like, Ren Goku players love to just sit in the back and wait for you to approach them, knowing full well that they easily have one of the best, if not the actual best character in their hands. And all they have to do is hit you with two blazing universes, and you're basically looking at half health. Like, I'm not exaggerating in the slightest. Ren Goku does too much damage for his own good. I need the damage reduction. I need Blazing Universe reduction. I need it all. Just nerf him into the ground because I'm tired of playing this character. I'm tired of meeting people that play this character and getting my ass beat because I want to play the game and approach them. And all they want to do is sit in the back and just chill. Like, I'm tired of it. Other than that, there are, you know, obviously good characters like Giyu, Sabato, um, Water Tanjiro, Inosuke, Zenitsu, like there are good characters that are pretty balanced per se, at least in my personal opinion. Other people might disagree, but I don't really have an issue with any other character balance wise besides Hinokami Tanjiro and Ren Goku, because those two are just snapped beyond belief for absolutely no reason. Um, story wise, it's just the same story as, you know, the anime and the manga. I do wonder as season two progresses. Are we going to get like more story content or was that just it? Because it just feels weird to end, you know, story mode at Mugen Train when in matter of fact, like I've seen, we've seen CC2 go beyond, you know, the anime and the manga like they did. I think it was Storm 4 or Storm 3. I don't remember, but didn't they make their own like ending to Shippuden? 
like am i am i wrong on that they did something that was like game only like it wasn't in the anime or the manga like they just they said something i just don't remember what it was for naruto but i do wonder if we're gonna get any story content after mugen train i hope we do because the way cc2 pre presented like the story it felt good it felt nice like the cutscenes were beautiful everything about it was good so i do hope we'll get more story content in the future um dlc wise uh we are confirmed to be getting akaza and ryu Ri ryu i forgot the the spider motherfucker like you know what i'm talking about i just forgot to pronounce his name but we did get an akaza trailer earlier today i'm recording this on the 18th so again get excited for the demons uh, i hope we get all the hashras I think we will by the time this game reaches like, you know, let's just say like a couple months, like six, seven months old. I think we'll get some Hashiras and obviously the demons and that's really it. I hope, you know, by the time this game is like a year old, two years old, we have a lot of DLC because I want to see this game succeed. I do think it's very solid. It's a good fighter, obviously balancing issues with certain characters and other things of that nature. But I do want to see this game succeed. I think CC2 is a great dev company and honestly they have they have something special on their hands with this game it, it does it really feels like this game could generally succeed and i'm excited about that so that's my overall thoughts on the game i do think this game is good is it worth 60 dollars i mean i guess it depends if you really want to play you know a demon slayer fighter yeah it is but if you really don't care about demon slayer like that then don't really you know buy it that's really all i can tell you about it and that's it for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Click a like and a subscribe button. And I'm out of here. Peace.